Now coming back to the same example where we plotted a scatter plot of mileage with respect to weight. Mileage is our dependent variable and weight is the independent variable. Now we can see a clearly a linear relationship between them and hence if we draw a straight line this would best describe the relationship between the dependent and the independent variable. So I can write down the equation as y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 and x where y is mileage so let me write it as mpg miles per gallon and x is my weight now we can also see that the relationship is not perfectly linear because the points all the points are not exactly on the straight line but a few points are away from the line or very close to the line but not exactly on the straight line Hence, it is very important for us to add an error term as well into the equation. So, let us add an error term also into the equation. So, this equation also has an error term involved because the line is not a perfect relationship between the dependent and the independent variable. And hence, we have, we have to include this error term. So, this represents the error that we make if we assume that the relationship between the dependent and the independent is linear. Now instead of writing this, we also write y hat is equal to beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat x. Now hat represents estimated values. Now since we do not know the exact values of beta naught and beta 1, what we do is we estimate their values. So we represent the estimated values as hat. So it is pronounced as hat. So beta hat represents the estimated value of beta naught. Beta 1 again represents the estimated value of some actual beta 1 which exists. And if we include beta naught hat and beta 1 hat into our equation, what we get is the predicted value which we represent as white hat. So y hat represents the predicted value. This is the predicted value, remember. So now we can clearly see that the line, it does make some error. If we assume the relationship between these two variables to be linear, we are making some error. And y hat represents the predicted values, the predicted values using this equation. So what will be our error? Our error will be the actual values which we represented as y minus the predicted values. So this will represent the error that we are making. So error is actual minus predicted. Now what would be the error in this graph? So let us find out the error in this chart. So for example, if we take the x coordinate of this particular point, the x coordinate of this particular point is, is here. Now if we take the x coordinate of this point and put it in this equation, what y hat we would get is the corresponding y axis, the corresponding point on the line. So the corresponding y axis or y coordinate on the line is this particular point, if I just extend this. So this is the prediction that we would make for this value of x. So this is the prediction and where does our actual point lie? Our actual point lies somewhere here. So what is the error we are making for this point? The error that we are making is this distance. So this is the error that we are making. Let me write it as E1. So E1 is the error that we are making for point A. So if I write down the error for point A, it will be error of point A is the actual value of point A. So let me write it actual value of point A minus the predicted value of point A. So we can see the actual value of point A is somewhere here, which is lesser. And the predicted value of point A is here. The predicted value, remember, since it is coming from the equation of the line, the predicted value, since it is coming from the equation of the line, will always lie on the line. The predicted values will never be outside the line. So this is the error, which is probably negative. In this case, for point A, it is negative error. So this is the error that we are making for point A. Similarly, if we find the error, let's say for another point, point D. So let's say this is point D. So the error for point D will be 
the actual value of point D minus the predicted value of point D. So what is the actual value of point D? The actual value of point D is the Y coordinate of point D which is this distance or you can say this the Y coordinate of point D is the actual value of point D and what is the predicted value of point D? The predicted value of point D is the corresponding point on the line the corresponding point with the same X axis so what is the X axis of point D? This is the X coordinate of point D. So what is the corresponding point on the line with this X axis or with this X coordinate? It is this particular point. So this is the predicted value for point D. And hence we are making an error of this. This distance is the error that we are making. Clearly we can see that the actual value is greater than the predicted value and hence in this case the error is positive. So this is how we calculate error for every individual point in this graph. So remember the predicted values will always lie on the straight line since they are coming out of the equation of a straight line and the actual value will be the y coordinate of the point that we are referring. Why Y coordinate? Because Y coordinate is our dependent variable. That is our variable of interest. X variable, we are only using it to predict Y. So X is the independent variable. So this is how we find the error for every individual point using a simple linear regression.